It's just that living and working in Albion, uh, you can feel pretty far away from things. Somebody asked me, what are you going to do? And I said, well, if I could do anything, I would go around and meet the people who are creating the world that I live in and, and make artwork uh, based on my experience. And, uh, and she said, dang, but go for that. So that's, that's what I started doing. that I uh, like this real active surface on these pieces it comes from my background in ceramics and uh, I just enjoy working with the material so much I, I can't stand to smooth it all out I like to see where my hands have been on it uh, and I, I don't need to to eliminate that in order to uh, to create the piece in fact I think it's enhanced by including that process, that manipulative process with the material. Every one of the people whom I have portrayed have the ability to relate to people one-on-one -on -one in a startling way. I usually contact a press agent or a handler of some kind, a press relations person, and tell them that I'm, uh, I'm just making art. I, this, uh, these haven't been commissioned. Uh, I, just, I make these because I think they need to be made. And uh, people are, are very generous with their time. And I get access to these people. I watch watch their facial expressions and their body language and how they relate to people. And it's fascinating to watch these people who are so uh, well known, uh, to see them up close. There is a charisma about these people, about every one of them. Uh, and that is, if I can hang on to that, if whatever it is that they make me feel, uh, if I can get that into the piece, whether it's humor or whether it's gravitas, uh, uh, if, I, if, it can, if it reads in the piece later, then I know the piece is successful. Then I know the piece lives on its own. It's been a wild ride. It's just been a whole lot of fun. And I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs>